Kia ora, year 12 and 13. This is the second part of question one of last year's differentiation exam. There's a merit question and then an excellence question. So here's the merit question. This is a parametric differentiation problem. And we're asked to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point where t is equal to zero. So the way parametric differentiation works is like this. We've got the chain rule basically. dy by dx is equal to dy by dt times dt by dx, which is the same as dy by dt over dx by dt. So what we have to do first is differentiate each of those things with respect to t, and then we substitute in t equals 0. Don't know why that's happening, sorry. Um, so dy by dt is the first one we'll do, and we get 2 cosine of 2t, and dx by dt is equal to 1 half times t plus 1 to the negative 1 half. Now, putting those together, here's what we get. dy by dx is equal to 2 cos of 2t divided by this. Cleaning that up gives me the following. I'm really sorry about this, guys. It's the stupid new stylus. It's not working very well. 4 cos 2t times the square root of t plus 1. Right, the last thing that I've got to do is to substitute in t equals 0. So here's what I get when I do that. dy by dx is equal to 4 cos 0 times the square root of 0 plus 1. Cos of 0 is 1. This is 1. So the answer is simply 4. And that's the end of that question. Now the next one is a little bit trickier. So let's have a look at that now. Okay, find the values of a and b such that this curve has got a turning point at 3, 1. So I want you to pause the video here and think how are you going to attack that problem. And then I'm going to work through it before we get into any of the calculus. Okay, so things to notice here are that we've got two missing numbers, right? We're missing a and we're missing b. So usually that means we need two bits of information to help us out. So let's think about what a turning point is. Well, a turning point is a place in calculus where the gradient is equal to zero. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the gradient. And we're going to figure out where is it equal to zero. And we know that it's equal to zero um, when x is 3. So we'll work that out. We'll sub in x is equal to 3. Then the second thing that we know is that 3, 1 is on the curve. So there are your two clues. Now for most of you watching this, that's probably going to be enough that you get the whole way through it. But I'm going to work through it pretty slowly in case those clues don't give you enough help. So let's start now by differentiating. I'm doing that first on purpose because we're sitting in an exam and we have to use calculus to get any points. So if you started with this bit and you got some way through, but you didn't differentiate, you wouldn't get any credit for your work, okay? Because you've got to show that you're using calculus. So we're going to start by finding dy by dx, and we'll do that using the quotient rule. So square the bottom line, copy it up to the top, and now differentiate ax minus b. We just get a minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, minus 2x. And so that equals 0 at 3, 1. So I can substitute in, but I'm going to clean that up a bit before I do that. Okay, so we've got ax squared minus a minus 2ax squared plus 2bx over this. 
um, and we can simplify that some more. So now we get negative ax squared minus a plus 2bx over the denominator. And now we'll write again equals 0 at 3, 1. So that's my derivative. So my next step is now to substitute in x equals 3. Now we don't even have to worry about the denominator because we can times everything through by it, but I'm, I'll do it properly, so we'll do that on the next slide. So negative a x squared plus, whoops, 2bx minus a over x squared minus 1 squared is equal to, now what have we got? Well, x is 3, so we've got negative 9a plus 2 3s are 6, 6b minus a over 9 minus 1 squared is equal to 0. Negative 10a plus 6b over 64 is equal to 0. Negative 10a plus 6b is equal to 0. So that's what our first condition comes down to. Now the next thing is to know that 3, 1 is on the curve. So my equation for the curve is this, y is equal to ax minus b over x squared minus 1. So we know that 1 is equal to 3a minus b divided by 8. That gives me 8 is equal to 3a minus b. b is equal to 3a minus 8. Now I've written it like that because it gives me an easy way to solve simultaneously. I'm just going to substitute in b is equal to 3a minus 8. Negative 10a plus 6, lots of b equals 0. Um, what do we get there? Negative 10a plus 18a minus 48 is 0. 18a is equal to, something's gone wrong. What have I done? 18a minus 48. Oh, 8a. Yep, 8a equals 48. There we go, that's better. a is equal to 6, nearly there. And so b is equal to 18 minus 8. There's a lot of 18s and 8s in here. b is equal to 10. Right, that's it, we're finished. First excellence question done. Thanks for watching. Um, I've used Screencast-O-Matic for this instead of explain everything. So please, please, can somebody let me know if the sound is working and if it's all okay.